CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook live at the Intrepid Museum on Manhattan's west side with the latest on the countdown. Elijah. Yeah, truly looking forward to this exciting stuff, Chris and Mary. Good morning to the both of you. And as we inch closer to Monday afternoon's solar eclipse, there's a few things we want our viewers to keep in mind, especially if they plan on traveling across town when the eclipse is taking place. Monday's total solar eclipse, now just days away, will darken the skies as millions of people are expected to stare up at the heavens. Transit agencies like the MTA are encouraging people to ditch traffic and take mass transit to solar eclipse events as viewings are planned throughout the city, plus on Long Island and the Hudson Valley. This says millions are expected to scramble to find the best places to check out this unique solar event. Safety warnings are already being issued across our area. In fact, the New Jersey and New York DOT released statements on their social media, letting folks know do not park on the highway or roadway shoulders. While our region isn't expected to see a full eclipse, we could see a significant change in sunlight and ask drivers to be prepared to turn on headlights if needed. Keep in mind, traffic is expected to surge, so be mindful that it's best to stay on top of the latest information. Experts say the places you can go to view this historic event in the city include the Intrepid, Times Square, Top of the Rock, American Museum of Natural History, and Inwood Hill Park. Doctors are raising the flag that people need to protect their eyes while viewing this rare event. A doctor at the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary at Mount Sinai treated a patient who watched the 2017 partial solar eclipse for 20 seconds without proper eye protection. This is the retina. These are the cells that actually still work. And then down here you can see this crescent of loss where the retina does not work. And back out here live, more to that point. Doctors are saying you need these specialized solar eclipse glasses uh, like this one you see here in my hand, made uh, wonderfully crafted by our First Alert weather team. Be mindful that there are some glasses being sold that are knockoffs that don't work for the solar eclipse. So certainly keep that in mind as we inch closer to Monday. We're live this morning from Manhattan's west side. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you. And we are ready for the solar eclipse. Our Christine Johnson will be live from Niagara Falls. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Rochester and we'll have a team of reporters across New Jersey and New York. You can watch our Empire State coverage live Monday starting at 2 p.m. on our streaming channel CBS News New York.